A lot of people talk about helping their community, but there are a few who really do take action, folks. My next guest is one of those people who have done just that. Uh, when he saw that his community was being plagued by gang violence, he decided to do something about it. So I invited him here today to share his story. This is a really great story. Please welcome Kevin Livingston. Thank you so much for having me. So, Thank Kevin, you. explain to me what was happening in your community. You know, I, w I would walk to work every morning and I would notice that there would be young men on the streets hanging out, uh, looking disheveled. Um, and so, one, one particular point is a young lady had took a picture of a young man with his pants down and actually began to berate him online about the way he looked versus engaging him. And that's not what we need in our community. We need to build our young men up. And so I decided to do something about it. That moment right there gave you the idea that you have? Absolutely. I know what it's like to, feel, to wear a suit. Uh, when I was younger, I used to wear suits to go around the city just so people could look at me differently. And so I asked my customers in the bank that I was working, working at to donate suits to me so I could go and give them to young men in my community. Around the corner from where I was working at was an active gang site. So initially, we were going to have 100 suits, 100 gang members. But I dropped the extras and we were able to give out suits. Wow. So... I'm looking at the pictures right here. Tell, tell me about some of the people who you've been able to help. I mean, this happened two weeks ago. A young brother who came in um, to the office. I run an after-school program for young people who are 16 and 24 who are runaway youth. This brother just came from Chicago. He was shot twice, um, stabbed in the neck, um, homeless. So he came to New York City to seek refuge. We were able to get him not only a suit, but enrolled in school where he's currently at right now. Another... <laughs> Thank you. An another one which really tugs at my heart. We're in Rikers Island. We run a program in there eight, eight, eight months before they're released. And the young man was in my program for eight months. He came home. We gave him a suit, started him to work two days later. I'm preparing another young person who's in my academy in Rikers Island now. He'll be home tomorrow. I'll be back on Friday to get him work and get him a suit and get him on his way. That's great, man. I want to show uh, our audience and viewers at home some footage of what you do. Watch this tape, folks. I want to show this brother how to do a Wednesday night. F first off, when you're doing the top, right, you're going to hold your head up like royalty because you're royalty. Yes, sir. And I want you to keep trucking, brother. I mean that, man. No, I care. I'm from Jamaica, Queens. I'm here to let you know I care. Because this right here, when you walk in that office, they're going to see the, the, the royalty that I'm looking at. Yes, sir. I want you to look in the mirror, and I want you to see the same person that I'm looking at. Because that's not the same person I walked down the block five minutes ago. The community cares about you. I need all the brothers to come around, let's get this brother some love. I need all the brothers to help us get this brother some love, man. For real. Let's talk to this brother. Come on, let's talk to this brother. Let's get this brother some love, man. Show love. Show love. Show love. <laughs> Yeah. I also hear that there some celebrities caught wind of what you're doing. Yes, um, we, we've been honored to have the support of Colin Kaepernick. Um, thank you. Um, Colin Kaepernick has supported me. He's brought his personal suits to us. Um, also, he's donated money so we can continue the outreach that we're doing in Rikers Island. We thank Colin. We've been also able to get uh, support from Michael Strahan. Um, he's donated his personal suits to our organization. And, um, and, then, and then lastly, uh, we received suits from the late, great Kenneth Thompson, the first African-American di district attorney in Brooklyn. Uh, his family has supported us, so. That's great, man. I, th I, think, I think what you're doing is absolutely fabulous, and it works. People don't understand, man. If you can just reach one, if you reach one, you change one boy's lives. The trickle-down effect is tremendous. Whenever you save a young man, it's never just that one young man. It's a trickle-down effect. His boys notice a difference. Hey, man, where you get that suit? Well, I'm in this program. What y'all doing over there? Most guys that's banging don't really want to be banging. They really want to live. They really want a, a piece of the American dream. But when they got no alternatives out here, nobody telling them nothing else, they just go for what they know. And it's a sad situation here. I think what you're doing is great. Thank you. And I, I want to be a part of this. Thank you. So I have a suit line. Wow. And I have the Steve Harvey Celebrity Edition suit line. Wow. And what I want to do is I've already spoken to them. 
I'm going to have them give you 100 suits wow. uh, out of it, man, to help your program out, man. Thank you, man. And you keep it up. Thank and stay you. in touch with me. I will. I, I will. think we can do some great things together, man. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, man. Keep hustling, boy.